In this video, I'm going to show you how to do this blurry glass function using Elementor. Hey guys, what's up? This is Michaela from Simplifying Websites. And before I go into the tutorial, I'm going to ask you to leave a like here on the video and to subscribe to the channel. So that's it, let's get to the tutorial. So come on guys, I'm here at LP Barber, which was a landing page that I taught you how to create here on the channel with Elementor Free. I'll leave the link to this tutorial on the card and in the description if you want to go and learn how to create it in full, okay? I'll use it here as an example to show you. I'm going to access the Elementor editor here and I'm going to point out that this function we're going to use is only going to use Elementor resources, okay? You won't need to install any separate plugins if you already have Elementor Pro. If you have Elementor free, then you'll need to install some of it, but then I'll show you how. So I'm going to take this little card here. This is an icon box, okay? But you can do it with anything, with an icon box, with an image box, with any widget, even text. You can do it with text too, with images, with anyone, and sections and containers too, okay? You can do it too. I'm going to take one here. I'm going to open a new container here. I'm going to take this container with the little arrow to the side. I'm going to come in advanced. I'm going to put some spacing here just so you can see. Then I'm going to come here to style type of background. I'm going to take an image here. I'm going to take this image here, which is one we use a lot in the project. I'm going to leave it centered here and fill it in completely just so we can see it there. Okay. Then I'll right click and paste this little box here, but as I said, it can be with anyone. I'll even take an image box to put here on the side for you to see. You see? So it can be with any item. So what do you need to do? First, you'll come here. You'll find where the background settings are. So in this widget here, it's in advanced. When it's some kind of widget, the background color and border settings are usually in advanced. Then you come here to background. See? In this case, I had made a gradient, but then to do this function here, we're just going to use the color one. And then if we come and leave a white color and come here and drag it over here, I'll make it almost transparent. It already has a little glass effect. You see, it already has a little glass effect. I'm going to do the same thing with this one. We come here in advanced background color. I'm going to put white and I'm going to put transparent here. So it already has a little background effect. Now we're going to add some CSS code so that it has a blur effect, that blurry glass that looks really cool in many projects. So it's this code here if you want to pause and read it and copy it. But I'll also leave it here in the description for you to copy this code, okay? You're going to copy it. It's going to come here in the items custom CSS. This is for each item and then you're going to paste it here. See? And then it will give this little blur in the background. Same thing on the other one. Come here, come advanced, custom CSS and give it that little blur. Okay. And then yes, you'll be able to use this little effect here. Okay. And then guys, in order to change the amount of blur, you change the color. So for example, sometimes in these images here, for example, like this one that's darker and it looks nice in this intensity here, right? But for example, let me delete this one. If it's a background image, I'll change it here to this banner image here. For example, if it's a background image, as it's very light at the back, sometimes the contrast isn't right, you know? Then you can come here, come in advance, come here in the background, in the color, and decrease this transparency a little bit. See? You reduce the transparency, then it's less in conflict with the background at the back, see? So you can gradually reduce the intensity of the color here, and then it gets more or less blurry, right? Wow, that's really cool. You can use it with an image background, with just a colored background, with a background like this, just with a texture, which is really cool, really different. And then you can, like I said, you can do it for section containers too. So if I wanted to do this whole section here, or this whole container, I'd come here, I'd come in advanced, and here in the custom CSS, I'd come here and paste it. Then, if you're going to do it with a container, for example, then you have to come here, drag the container here. I'm going to put a widget of something here inside this text. And then the container isn't here in advanced, where the background configuration is. It's here in style. Here, background type. 
Then you come, put the color white, drag it here so it's transparent. And then you come here to advanced custom CSS and paste the blur effect here. See, look, with the blur and without the blur, see, you can see it and it's blurry, see? So you can do this with anything. If you have Elementor Pro, you can do it here, right? Right here. But if you have Elementor Free, it won't open this box for you. So you'll need to install another plugin called Royal Add-ons. Go to Plugins, Add New. We'll install Royal Add-ons. This is the Royal Elements add-ons, which you will install and activate. Allow e continue. It has many functions. There are even free templates here. I've already made some videos about it. It's worth going there and watching later, okay? But check it out. You can go here at Royal add-ons. Close this pop-up. You can come here and deactivate the widgets you're not using so as not to overload the website too much. Okay, but that's fine. Once you've installed it, I'm going to click here on refresh so we can see the function here on the screen. Well, I'm going to update the Elementor editor here. And now, when we click here on any widget and it comes to advanced, there'll be a tab here for Royale's custom CSS. So you can go there and use the CSS here, okay? So that's it, folks. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, Leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, follow me on social media. Cheers, see you next time, bye.